Hello and welcome. Today we are going to create the C clamp in the SolarWorks. C clamp has the basic parts like screw, Tommy bar, collar, and pin is used to fix the collar with the Tommy bar. This one is pad, and the screw is used to fix the pad with a main screw, and this one is the C frame. First of all, we will create all the parts and later we will assemble them to create the C clamp. We will try to write this 3D name of this clamp. You can write any name and at the end we will apply some motion study. How it moves actually. Let's start. Let's create our first part, go to the file and create a new part file. Now we are going to create our first part that is C-frame. Change the background plane white, go to front plane and sketch a C-shape first. Start from origin. Again take a line command and draw a line here. Make sure that this one is vertical. Ok, now dimension this. This one is 60 mm and the gap between this line is 135 mm. Simply click OK. Now take a sketch fillet and select these two points and provide the radius 25 mm. OK. Now our path is ready. To create a profile, we have to create a plane here. Go to plane and select this line and the point. It will automatically create the plane on this point perpendicular to this line. Now go to this plane, sketch normal. Now select a line and draw a line here. Now find the midpoint of this line. And select this line to provide a coincidence relation. Hide this plane again. Take a small dimension. Dimension this line is a 45 mm. Okay. Now again take a line command. Start from here and draw a shape like this. Later we'll define this sketch exit the sketch now dimension this line is a 8 mm only ok now select this line and these 4 lines and provide the relation equal ok again take a dimension and dimension this gap is a 46 mm ok again take a small dimension dimension this line again provide 8 mm ok now select this Four points and provide the relation horizontal dimension this line is 18.5 this one is automatically 8.5 now we are done with the profile now go to exit the sketch go to feature and take a swipe post base command and in the profile a sketch is already selected now just simply select the path select this path now this is our basic C frame 
and go to this face sketch and this time take a center rectangle now on the center line draw center rectangle let's define this height is 45 and this one is automatically 45 okay go to feature and extrude it now in the right direction extrude only 5 mm and in the direction to apply the in condition up to vertex and select this in vertex now it will automatically extrude up to this vertex now go to this plane sketch normal now this time take a three point arc and start from this midpoint and drop this arc to midpoint and click anywhere in this area take the small dimension and dimension this is a 40 mm radius okay now we are going to remove this part draw any shape outside of this curve make sure that it will include the area of this sketch above this curve go to the feature and take the exclude cut in the in condition apply the up to next and click ok now it will remove the material select this line and provide the fillet of radius 10 mm ok now we are done in this part again go to this face sketch normal now here we are going to create the circle try to find the midpoint and draw a circle of diameter 45 mm again we are going to exclude in this right direction exclude 5 and in the other direction provide the 50 mm exclude length click ok now there is gap between this cylinder and the DC frame now how to fill this gap select this add shape sketch sketch and go to convert into this now it is converted into the 2d sketch so go to feature and exclude it now in the int selection select up to surface and select this cylindrical surface now it will automatically exclude this up to the cylinder in this way you can create the you can fill the gap now take a cm4 command at this time and select this edge and this edge provide 2 mm 45 degree and click ok now again take a fillet select this edge first of all provide the radius of 2 mm and select all four edges okay now again take the fillet command this time provide the 5 mm radius and select this inner edge okay again go to fillet this time take 10 mm radius and select this inner edges to provide the 10 mm fillet orbit it and do it in same way in the other side also click ok now our C frame is almost ready now we are going to cut the cylindrical hole and provide the thread for this go to this face sketch normal and draw a circle of radius 24 mm provide the diameter 24 not the radius go to feature and exclude cut now this time select the in condition up to next okay now we are almost done 
now we are going to create a thread here go to thread and select the starting is this is of the cylindrical hole now in the in condition select up to selection and select this in face now thread preview is available now we are going to specify the thread specification select metric tab select 24 into m24 into 2 inch tender and select the right hand thread to create the perfect thread we are going to offset in the both the direction go to this first and provide let's say 3 mm offset change the direction and you can increase the length and in the direction to provide the offset any length make sure that the thread is outside of this cylindrical hole and simply click ok now thread is applied in the cylindrical hole now we are going to assign some material go to the metal and select the steel and in the steel select carbon steel and apply to whole body now the material is also added now if you are interested to provide the brand name here select this face sketch normal go now create a center line here draw a construction line and dimension this line from this point strain m this is not good 20 mm is appropriate okay now go to text and in the reference select this line and type your desired name of the brand or the device name see clamp 3d you can write anything you like now go to this make this central go to font you can change the font size from here let's say it's a 10 c clamp 3d okay go to feature and take the exclude cut exclude cut up to let's say 3 mm only okay now the name brand name is added now simply save this our first part go to file save now create the any folder in the desktop new folder and name is as a c clamp select part one frame and name it now we are going to create the other parts in this c clamp now we are going to create our second part that is screw go to front plane sketch take a circle command and start from origin to create the circle of diameter 24 mm okay go to feature and exclude it take the mid plane and exclude up to 160 mm 
this one is our threaded link we are going to create the thread on this cylindrical part go to any face any end normal and draw a circle of diameter 32 mm okay go to feature and extrude it up to 35 mm only to create the screw head click ok a screw head is created now take a chamfer and select 1 mm chamfer of 45 mm and select these two edges to provide the 1 mm 45 degree chamfer now we are going to create the thread in this cylindrical part go to the whole wizard and select the thread and provide the starting edge and select in the opto selection select this last edge now in the specification part provide the m24 into 2 same as in the base hole and all this time select the exclude the thread and right hand thread click ok now thread is created now at the end the thread is not up to this edge we are going to fix this go to edit the thread feature and in the offset provide 2 mm opposite direction offset now we are going to cut this unwanted thread from this face go to this face sketch normal and take a circle command start from here and draw a circle up to this edge again take a circle and draw a circle outside of this body now you can offset this original sketch go to feature take the exclude cut command now flip the cut direction and in the draft select draft outward and in the contour select this contour only click ok now the problem is fixed thread is up to the edge go to this face image again sketch normal and draw a circle of radius 20 mm this time ok go to feature and again exclude it up to 8 mm only ok now we are going to create the hole in this face go to this face sketch take a circle command and draw a circle of just 6 mm diameter go to feature and exclude no not exclude both ways exclude cut and cut up to the 6 mm depth only click ok now our screw is almost ready go to this right plane sketch normal now we are going to create a hole here for the handle take the circle command try to find the midpoint here or you can dimension it draw a circle of radius diameter 12 mm ok go to the feature and select exclude cut cut from the mid plane you can do it manually ok in this way our screw is ready now you can save it apply some material go to metal steel this time let's say polish steel now 
now let's save this go to file save and this time save it is a part 2 screw save it now we are going to create the other remaining parts now we are going to create our remaining parts let's create the dummy bar go to front plane in case and select a circle provide the diameter 12 mm go to feature and exclude it exclude using the mid plane and provide the length 200 mm okay now at any end sketch a circle of diameter 20 mm go to feature and exclude it up to 10 mm okay now go to the chamfer and select these two edges to provide the 1 mm chamfer of 45 degree click ok now go to right plane sketch normal now we are going to create a hole for the pin at the mid line create a circle of diameter 3 mm go to feature and exclude cut select the mid plane and do it manually make sure that hole is through all now this is our tummy bar go to the material and provide the polished steel now go to save and select this is a part 3 tommy bar go to the new part and create a collar for this tommy bar go to front plane sketch and take a circle command draw a circle of diameter 20 mm ok go to feature and exclude it up to 10 mm this one is ok now go to any face sketch this time draw a circle of diameter 12 mm small dimension dimension this as a 12 go to feature not the exclude both base exclude cut up to 7 mm only ok now go to the right plane sketch normal take again the circle command and draw a circle of diameter 3 mm only ok small dimension it and dimension from this point 5 mm ok go to feature and exclude cut make that through all ok you can cut the hole this is up to this is also but you have to provide the pin length as your dimension I am going to create the lock pin hole only in the one thickness now take a chamfer and provide the one mm chamfer of 45 degree now again go to material provide the any material you want again save it this time part 4 collar you can click it now I can create a part file now we are going to create the tapered fin 
go to front plane sketch this time select a center line and draw a center line here take a line command and draw a taper line like this join this and again take a line command and connect this dimension this this one is 10 mm only this one is 1 mm and this one is 2 mm you can make it less deeper by providing the 1.5 mm this one is okay go to the revolve boss base and revolve it to create the pin go to material again and provide your required material go to file and save it this time part file pin now we are going to create the remaining one part that is screw and pad go to the new part file now we are going to create the pad first and go to front plane sketch and take a center line and draw a center line here take a line command and start to draw a shape like this later we will define it now go to some taper length this internal part will create the shape of the hole now dimension it this point to this point is 22.5 from this line to this point is 3.5 this line is 10 mm no 7 mm and this line is 10 mm again define this length 8 mm and from this point to this point is 20 mm the overall length of this small dimension dimension this point from this is only 28 mm ok now here provide the sketch fillet diameter 2 mm only select this point ok now go to feature and take the revolve wall space to create our pad now take the chamfer and provide the chamfer of 2 mm in these two faces this one is our pad apply the material as a polished steel now save it and provide the name part 6 pad go to new part file again now we are going to create our last part that is screw again go to front plane and take a center line draw a shape to revolve this is the simple screw and close it take the dimension overall length is 22 provide this provide this one is a 3.5 okay and provide this length 
फाइव एम एल ओके एंड प्रोवाइड दिस वन फाइव एम एल ओके गो टू फीचर एंड रिवॉल्व इट दिस वन इज ऑल स्क्रू गो टू दिस फेस स्केच नॉर्मल एंड टेक अंटर रेक्टेंगल ड्रॉ रेक्टेंगल हेयर डायमेंशन दिस इज पॉइंट एट वन ओके गो टू फीचर इन स्क्रू कट कट द डेफ्थ ओनली वन एम एम ओके दिस वन इज ऑल स्क्रू प्रोवाइड द मेटेरियल अगेन द पॉलिश स्टील नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सेव इट दिस इज अ लास्ट पार्ट दैट इज स्क्रू the part 7 is screw and save it now we completed all the creation of the all the parts now we are going to assemble it after creating all the parts now we are going to assemble them go to assembly and click okay now first of all select the screw open it place anywhere in the window now again go to insert component this time select tommy bar and collar place them side by side now go to mat and select this cylindrical hole and this cylindrical bar now you can drag it again go to concentric select this is and this is flip the mat and drag it now here are two holes for the pin for this let's made them to make the concentric Select this hole and this or hole. Now they are concentric. Okay. Now again go to insert component. This time select the pin. Okay. Drag it here. now the pin looks bigger than this whole size now go to file open and open this pin you can edit now pin go to the sketch and go to edit sketch and normal the diameter should be 3 here is diameter 4 so let's edit it to make 1.5 and this one let's make it to 1.3 now the diameter is 6 exit close it before closing you save it and you have to apply the changes to the assembly also now it looks perfect go to mate and select the concentric select this face and this hole okay again go to mate tangent select this face in this face okay 
now it will move here and there okay you can go to insert component this time select pad go to mat and select co-centric again select this as and this cylindrical as direction is ok again go to coincident mat select this face and in the screw part select this face okay now again go to insert component this time select the small screw again go to mate and select co-centric select this edge and any edge in the flip the Mate. Okay. Go to course entry. Select this face and select this face. There is no any selection. Again, select this coincidence. Select this face and select this lower face. In actual, you have to create the thread in the screw, and in this large screw, I am not going to create the thread. Now our screw combination is ready. Go to file and save it. Let's see. assembly c clamp and save it again go to insert component now this time select the c frame place anywhere in this window Now go to mate, select core centric and select these two circular faces. Select any edge and flip the mate. Okay, now they are core centric. okay right click and float it because the first insertion of the assembly was this screw it was fixed so we are we made it float now it will move now you have to apply the thread material for this let's drag it outside Select this face, this face normal. Now go to mate, and this time clear it. This time you have to select the advanced mate. In, in the advanced mate. Now go to mechanical mats and select the screw mate. Now we are going to mat the thread. So select this upper part or the lower part. The lower part is selected in the hole. Now select upper part.
do it carefully okay now if thread relation is applied it will not move now it's moving it means the thread relation is not applied yet select this C frame and make it fix go to met edit the feature again try to select the clear it you have to be careful in selection of the thread select this face clear it and first of all select this face go to mat and select mechanical mat screw and select the the face is not still selected ok now thread relation is applied now try to move it will not move it now rotate it and it will move first of all let's lock this handle with the screw go to mat select lock and lock these two bodies part 3 in the screw now they are locked now if you rotate it it will only move after the application of rotation motion okay now we are going to apply some limit for the thread go to mat and in the advanced mat select the distance apply zero Now in the selection box select this edge and this edge and this face. Now apply the distance 130. Okay. Now, first of all, select the linear mate, or you can first of all apply the coincident mate, it will be easy. Okay, now go to mate and delete it. Now again apply the mat go to advanced mat and select the distance minimum value apply zero and maximum value apply let's say one 25 now select in the selection box select this face and this face ok now it will move only in the 125 distance from this 
in face try to rotate it now everything is okay now go to mat no no other mats required now we are going for the motion study now you can apply the time later go to motor and select rotary motor select this phase and let's increase the rpm up to 250 okay now go to setting and apply the frame rate 30 okay and then calculate it will take some time to calculate and let's play it now this is perfect now you can increase the time frame and again calculate it will take some time to calculate now this is our C clamp I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any comments you can put it in the comment section Please subscribe our channel for the more projects and the videos in the SOLIDWORKS. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.